like for you as a player to finally be out there with some folks cheering? Um, it's to be honest, it's not really different from being in the scrimmage because when you're on the field, you really can't hear anything except you're trying to focus in on what the play is, um, what your keys are, and Coach Pro always talks about the clutter and annoying the clutter. So it's really just being focused and just and just on the coaches what you have really. After going through it a couple times though, a few times, do you feel yourself a little bit more adrenaline or anything like that? A little bit more energy? Oh, um, most definitely. Um, not being as nervous. Uh, but this being my third go around for spring ball, spring and G day, uh, it's not much of nervous, just adrenaline and excitement really. So it's, it's a good, it's a good opportunity. How you feel about your progress this spring? Uh, I feel good. Um, I always needs more progress every day. Um, just trying to better myself and and be a better person for the defense, and hopefully we can have a good year. Thank you. Uh, have you been getting any reps at week side down during practice? Um, I really don't even know what. I just know we're playing. I know I play defensive line. That's it. Uh, everywhere on the on defensive line, I have played during spring. So I really just just being shuffled around. I know you've been around for a while, but does it kind of excite you that you might be able to be the guy that steps in and replaces Dave, uh, Ray Drew? Oh, most definitely. It's always an excitement of just. Um, with this being my senior season, um, it's excitement just the fall is coming around and the excitement just playing for Georgia really. So it, it is an excitement. You started your career at Georgia as a linebacker. Did you ever play defensive line before that? Um, in high school, um, we played a, a 4-3, so it wasn't really an outside linebacker. Um, but here, it, it's all the same really. Just matter of putting your hand down the dirt or are you just standing up. How big of a loss is it losing a guy like Preacher? Um, I mean we had we had a, a great amount of uh, great seniors that we lost on the defense this year. But we had some great people coming in trying to replace them and it's exciting uh, just to see the new faces on defense. So I'm excited for um, to get out there on the field with them. Just from the outside looking in it seems like you and uh, Sterling <laughs> would be the favorites to take his spot. Is that how you guys see or y'all just out there just grinding? Um, just grinding, just trying to compete. Uh, the one thing is there's never a spot locked down in this defense. Coach Corey and uh, all the defensive coaches, they, they coach on competitive nature. And if you're not being competitive out there every day and taking the light, somebody else can take your job. So it's just every day we're just going to work and just trying to better our craft. Hey, Josh, it seems like the guys you had out there today, if you, you know, if someone was to look at the roster, it's interesting because you have basically half of them are seniors, and then the other half are guys who haven't played. Except maybe uh, John Atkins, I think, is a sophomore. But everybody else, they're either a newcomer more or less, or a senior. And obviously, when the guys come in the summer, it's going to be more. Than that. But that's that's unusual. Is there, is there describe that, and especially you being a senior, how what's the dynamic? Um, it's really, it's just how coach Pearl just coaches. I mean, everybody's on the same playing field. It's just, it's all about making play, plays in the defense. And if it's a freshman, he doesn't matter if it's a senior or, or a freshman who's on the field. As long as you run the Georgia defense and you're uh, playing with effort and toughness and mental toughness and everything, it doesn't, it doesn't matter who's on the field. So it's just, he's actually just putting the best person out there on the field who's going to help Georgia win. So um, I have no problem with it. I, th I think it's exciting. It keeps the competitive nature in practice and keeps everybody on their toes. Does, it, does, that, uh, does something like that, though, especially because you're one of, I think, three seniors and everyone else is how I describe, does that make you think that you know you need to step up or want to step up and to a leadership type role? Oh, um, most definitely. Just, uh, just being a senior and everybody else is young, uh, you want to be a leader. But it all starts from just, just leading by action. Um, Cause that's the most important way to, to lead, is lead by action. And once you lead by action, the, um, people will recognize and, and just take, stand in line with you. So um, every day we're just trying to lead by action. Josh, what have you seen out of Michael Barnett and what does he bring to the table? Um, he's just getting better each day. Um, he's trying to learn, um, but Every day he's just getting better just like everybody else, so uh, it's exciting. You kind of see him the way you were when you were a freshman, kind of just trying to learn the playbook? Uh, oh, most definitely. Um, I mean, with every freshman, um, especially coming in early, you try to get your hands around the playbook 
but um, just having a, gr a great mind frame and just having a great uh, motor of trying to learn that's really big and I feel like if he keeps on doing that he should be fine he just kind of keep grinding out